wanted to uh, read or go through, but uh, the BBC resolutions just came out with the published. And uh, so maybe, maybe can this come up higher? I mean, I think you, 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 you need a little higher. So it's impossible to. Establish a succession after his passing away. You have to know, generally, uh, when a great child leaves, uh, disaster strikes, and often most of what he has built up in terms of organization and society very often collapses. Uh, that is actually, that's actually the rule that's to be, to be expected. Uh, but probably, amazingly, was, was in and like the continuation of the desire of Sri Bhakti Siddhan, the Saraswati Thakur, who is actually the one who conceived of this idea that, uh, and probably implemented it successfully, uh, that he established a governing body commission uh, which uh, is, it, is able to, in which property invested all his his uh, authority, so that uh, after his, uh, after he has gone, after he passed away, then uh, the ultimate managerial and also spiritual authority was invested into not one person, but a governing body. Um, and that's, uh, it's, uh, in one sense, it's. Okay. It's a new thing. Then again, also, it's. I mean, there is actually also historical precedence for uh, for such for such a body. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to get into that. But uh, it's nevertheless with, with a. But one of the thought experience it is, it, is, it, is to, it is a different kind of system. You have one person, things are can be very effective, you know, he, he just takes decisions and if like if he's very he's very very advanced, you know, it works wonderfully, but also it can be problematic, you know, if uh, he's not on that level and worldwide organization, no, it's uh, it's uh, Will not really work with like just one successor, a chai after Sri Baba. A governing body is actually the right thing, but it has also, of course, it's, it's uh, it works on uh, democratic principles. It's uh, not even just close at all. Uh, it has its uh, you know, bureaucratic uh, you know sides to it and so on. But that's just part of the deal. It's just part of the deal. Um, actually what is you know is keeping Eastcom together, if you ask me, is the presence of the a government body commission with uh, all the trials and errors that have been over the years. Still this is the one thing that's actually unifying uh Civil Power Society, the International Christian Consciousness after his passing away. If it had not been there uh, actually, we would not have had an Eastern society, and uh, so it's it's a very very important body. It's a very very important function, and uh, traditionally, I was always raised that when the GBC resolutions came out, it's something that is, of course, relevant to everyone. And a Bhagavatam lecture was spent on discussing the GBC resolutions. It's not my speculation. I'm just following Parampara as I was trained. So, um, here, uh, let's have a look at what's here. 
this year. Um, I mean, I'm not going to read everything, but it's quite long. And also, a lot of it is kind of, you know, formality, importance, but uh, nothing uh, great revolutionary or anything like that. So, uh, here, uh, it's from the minutes of the annual general meeting for Chennai Bordan, February 19th until March the 2nd. In 2014, and uh, yeah, uh, as you see, there's a soul assignment. We can, I don't know if we will have a look at that, but the world is divided into uh, many DPC souls, and there's a DPC secretary responsible for each soul. And uh, we have here in this part the uh, Pradosh who is our DPC secretary, and then he has his. Secretaries under him who are assisting in different parts of that song. Um, and uh, I'm not going to go to there. Um, for the first thing that has been resolved, you know, the, actually all these ministers packed with resolutions, and the first, first thing, is all, all of that standard uh, is who is the chairman for this year, who, who is vice chairman, and who is uh, Second vice man and who is sitting on the on the, on the board, is the, the DBC board, is, uh, is doing a lot of practical management through the year. So Anutaman Prabhu is uh, chairman for this year, and Pragosh is his mm -hmm. uh, first chair, vice chairman. That is, I mean, next year he will be chairman. The first vice chairman becomes is, is the, just moved up, and the second. Vice chairman becomes first vice chairman next year. And uh, in two years he's a chairman. The chairman changes every year. So Anusama, he is uh, this year's chairman. Prabhus is first vice chairman. Shesha Prabhu is second vice chairman. Uh, then uh, Bhakti Purusotama Swami is DBC secretary. And Chandra Sekharacharya continues as acting DBC member. Uh, Pranandan Swami is appointed as assistant DBC. Uh, so, anyway, the other names are mentioned here. Uh, who has been appointed to be part of the DBC body? And last, number nine, is this Prince Valu Prabhu. He is re resigning from the DBC. Uh, he's been a member of DBC for many, many years. I think it's, it's his own choice. He thinks it's a probably thing. He's getting old now. So, uh, then next is on the Sanyas waiting list. Uh, that's also a standard. That's the next thing. Oops. So, here we have Sanyas waiting list. All the, those who are waiting to become Sanyasis in uh, one year, two years, three years, four years. Is it Ananda Chaitanya Das who was here? I don't know, there was a was it Ananda Chaitanya Das here. I think his name was Ananda Chaitanya. Book distributor from England. He spoke about Prashada, Shiva, and Narada. I was not here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Mahaprasada. Yes. Chaitanya? Yeah, no, he is the. He is you know the Ananda Chaitanya? I don't know. He's, he's quite young. Yeah. yeah. Probably not. Yeah. And they generally. Nowadays you have to be at least 50 years to become a sannyasi. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> but in line, Prabhu, if you know him, he's an old father. So I just took sannyas when we were in my work. I was not there for the, for the ceremony. But, you know, he took it. Was, um, Jira Ramaswamy gave him the danda. Then, yeah. then, then that's you know he's his sannyas guru. As if the sannyas had to take sannyas from another guru, just like Prabhupada took sannyas from one from his sannyas brother Bhakti Kesava. 
Fuck the pizza, man, right? So, uh, uh, I don't know if it's anything. You can see Krishna Ksetra Babu is uh, taking sannyasa this year. I also know Krishna Ksetra. This summer he will take in, in Germany. And uh, I know if any of you know Veda Vyas Babu from Germany, he also took sannyas. I, 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 I don't know if I'm going to name him or anything. Then there is a whole, you know, the DBC has a lot of ministers and ministries under the DPC and there's a whole list of who is in, you know, of, of the ministries and who is the minister for what and we can not go over that that's. Then there's a budget. The DPC budget is here. Is it to the huh? Is it to the just to see what just the posts maybe. Uh, yeah, it's uh, takes some time. I'm really not so uh, so much time. Okay. Uh, that's my Ministry of Communications, Health and Welfare, Congregation Development Ministry, Vice Minister Ministry, Eastern Youth Ministry, Ministry of Sanyas Services, as etc. I mean, you can after later on you can go on your own on the website Dandavas and look at study it. I think it, I think you should you should all go and look, look at it, study it after. <coughs> The budget, so we can just go through, you know, almost skip that, except to notice that the, the ultimate budget is uh, 6,457,860 Indian rupees, uh, which in my opinion is a joke. Uh, it's a worldwide organization and the leading body has a, uh, a yearly budget less than 1 million Danish kroners. It's absurd. I mean, there should, you know, there, there should be, you know, hundreds of, you know, they should have much, much bigger budgets and can do much more. And, and that, it, in one sense, limits also, but of course, it also keeps it somewhat pure. There's not a lot of money to, you know, be corrupt around. But then again, uh, we're dealing with some of the most advanced devotees in our movement. I think they can manage much bigger sums without themselves becoming corrupt. Uh, but that's the situation today. Actually, it's, it's, it is uh, it's peanuts this, uh, this budget. It's, it's, it's something like it's, uh, the budget of this temple. Uh, and then there's an appointment of the auditor, audit revisor. Uh, so that's, that's, that's also a formality. Um, and Resolution 301. There's a midterm meeting in 2014 in Tirupati in October. That's uh, something that was introduced, I know, when that, when was that five, six years ago or something like that. That, uh, you, you know, that normally there was only one annual meeting for the whole DPC body. The thought that was two little, so now there are, there are two meetings. There's a, there's, 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 Meeting that has always been here, but then there's a, a meeting in October also. So, uh, um, so ne next, uh, <coughs> and actually, as you can see in the uh, in the brackets below, uh, as as far as I know, see from this, the system is that in the midterm meeting, there's no passing of resolutions officially. They all they all being passed in. In the, the annual general meeting in, in Mayapur, but then, you know, whatever they decide in the midterm meeting, that is officially approved of at the annual general meeting. And the next annual general meeting is going to take place in uh, next year in Mayapur, February 16th, March 2nd, 2015. Right. Um, then there is. Um, some discussion on ISKCON's 50th anniversary, which is in 2016. The ISKCON was founded in, two, in 1966, that means it's 50 years in 2016. And uh, so th this is a very unique anniversary, and there will, it, should be, it should be celebrated all over the world. And, so, in order to 
do that, there's already there's a global coordinator for this event, Ajay Kumar, uh, and uh, it says here that every DPC mem member shall appoint a 50th anniversary zone coordinator for each country in his or her respective zone. So, <clears throat> uh, all DPCs, ministers, and regional governing bodies shall prepare and submit preliminary ideas and plans for the 50th anniversary of local events and celebrations. So, we should also sit down and come up with how we're going to celebrate our 50th year anniversary. Simple ideas? Kirsten. Kirsten? Should I have a Kirsten? Should we put some out? Reunion. A reunion? Lecture. A lecture. Kirtan Mela. Kirtan Mela. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, fasting. Fasting? Yes. For one year. Maybe not that long. So, you should hear about Prabhupada. You should hear about Prabhupada. <coughs> so, I'm sure we can hear more about that. That's in two years from now. It's in the summer, isn't it? July. Isn't this comes in cooperation with in July? So. <coughs> then, 304 resolution is plans for increasing book distribution. <coughs> uh, something that's, you know, there's as mentioned here, some parts of the world, the book distribution is not increasing and it's rather decreasing. And there's some increase, some parts of the world that could be more. And uh, so whereas, I mean, that, that's also the way it's presented. It says, whereas, 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 this is you know, the kind of the justifications and explanations for the solutions and then follows. This is, I think, this kind of legal way of formulating this. this is, Legal language. So, whereas cooperation and shared planning between the local DPCs and local DPT trustee has proved successful in North America, actually, book distribution is, is back again on a rise on, in North America. And I think North America, USA, basically, distributed more books than for the last 20 years or something. It was the best year for many, many years. And, uh, <clears throat> and they are, there's some systematic, you know, approach uh, to increase book distribution. So they would like to implement that in the rest of the world as well. It says, whereas creating goals, timelines and targeted results works, whereas without goals, timelines and targeted results, the tendency is to drift and to accept the status quo as success or the best that we can do. Whereas the Power said that the DBC is gathering together in Mayapur is to make annual plans and then measure the results the following year. Therefore, as a result, the trustee of each PBT division will meet with the local DPCs to develop a plan for how to increase book distribution in the area. The scope of the plan will be from <coughs> the MyPo DPC meeting of 2014 to the MyPo DPC meeting of 2015. The development of such a plan would naturally include the local temple presidents and other leaders as well. Uh, two local DBCs means those DBCs in a distinct region or set of countries who all buy the majority of the books from the same DBC division. For example, such a region or set of countries could be, and it's mentioned, which different parts of the world are being uh, served by which DBC division. We are served here by the North European, North European DBC division, which is based up in Sweden and Cosmos. <coughs> This is a so anyway, there's some discussion on that. Um, yeah, one small point, you know, this, this, this is paragraph says, while ISCO and the DPC and the BBT are independent entities, um, and thus the DPC cannot instruct the BBT trustees, the DPC humbly appeals to the DPC trustees to kindly get involved in pushing this process forward and making sure that the development of these plans actually happens. Not all the are aware of that, but actually EBT is not part of ISCOM. 
and uh, BBC is not. I mean, the BBC cannot decide anything or, or what happens in the BBC. They can appeal to as it, as it, as it do yeah. here. What happens in the BBC? Huh? In the, on, on, in the BBT, sorry. Yeah. Uh, and uh, <coughs> DBC, DB, BBT was established as an independent legal entity by Sir Harvard deliberately because he, you know, if one collapses, the other will continue. He was afraid that maybe DBC or Eastern would somehow another not continue probably, but then at least the publication of this book would continue. No, I mean, and, and, or if there were, you know, if, for instance, there could be some heavy legal expenses for the East Common DBC, and the BBT would not be responsible. That actually, we saw that that actually happened at, at one point. That uh, it's, it's a world of uh, legal and courts, and you know, every, everyone is in some parts of the world. Everyone is trying to pull. Everyone else in and having to pay enormous legal uh, compensation. yeah, compensations and like that. And Eastcom has had its share of that also. Um, and also there it was very, very good that BBT was not part of that. Because uh, not, not, none of the BBT assets were, you know, no one were able to put them in, into these compensation court cases and like that. Uh, <coughs> and it says the Indian BBT and the Indian DBC are not accepted for their own doing fantastic book distribution. But of course they can but but if they can but if they can do more, be more then it's fine. But they're doing good. Uh, uh, then this next three or five established in the division of legal accounting and regulatory compliance. This is somewhat technical, but also in, important. Is uh, uh, it's, uh, it's I think they, it's understood they established a, uh, a body that can actually monitor all uh, individual assets of ISCOM that everything is legally uh, correct and economically sound, and all the properties are it's in the name of ISCOM and, and stuff like that. That's not a, might seem a little dry. It is dry, but uh, important, highly important. You know, something about zone configuration, uh, <coughs> also somewhat technical. Of course, interesting is point two that Europe was divided into seven zones. Now it's it divided into thirty-seven zones. That's a, Precisely what that means, I don't know, but Denmark and Faroe Islands now they are you know, this is one zone. Yeah. Iceland is its own zone. I know they're always nice, but it's still its own zone. Yeah. So uh, <coughs> there's some duels on Faroe Islands? Also not on Faroe Islands. No. <laughs> at least Denmark and Faroe Islands they are duels in Denmark and Faroe Islands. So Faroe Islands is also our responsibility. Yeah. We should go there. Yeah, that is all the distributed books. It's, it's very good for distributed books. Yeah. Yeah. Except, of course, it's now it's it's uh, horrible because police they throw us out. Oh. And, and there's no way you can go. I mean, you you know you try to <laughs> drive, you know, escape the police, and uh, you just drive and drive, and suddenly you're there, and it's just a cliff, and then the road ends, and then uh, I tried that. <laughs> we, we, we to be, but people are very receptive. Go door to door, it's, you know, it's so nice. Up there. Mm. So maybe we can figure out something. <coughs> of course, they, they, they maybe there's change. I don't think so. Mm. But, but, but uh, it could be worth trying it. You know, to, let's look into that. <coughs> how India is divided. How <coughs> how <coughs> any explanation why? These divisions? Yeah. Mm. And it, it's not explained here, and I haven't heard anything from anyone about it. <coughs> uh, some technical thing about property trust law. I will just go for it. Uh, yeah. It's 
legal matter, legal legalities. Adding new DVCs. Um, it just, it just result that, as we know, new DVCs added until 2016 to so the annual general meeting, ADM's annual, annual, annual general meeting. Uh, well, I don't know why. And it's, it's, it's something that's not <coughs> immediately relevant for, for us random and find the problems in this. So we will have hope that you will be added on the DBC next year, then you have to wait two years. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. This is interesting. The next one. <laughs> Tends to the founder, the founder of Chaya Iskon. <clears throat> it's a new book has come out, written by Ren Suru, uh, about which is called Sri Power, the founder of Chaya Iskon, which uh, establishes, uh, you know, which establishes Prabhat. Of course, we all uh, he's already established as the founder of Chaya Iskon, but really gets into detail why Prabhat he wanted. Or what it means to be founder at Charya, what, what, you know, why, you know, what's a unique position of Sri Prabhupada as a founder at Charya, Charya. <coughs> what it means uh, that Sri Prabhupada he wanted that, why he wanted that, um, the Shastric reference for it, and many, many things. It's very interesting. I read it half, halfway through. And again, uh, this is very important. This is got what, what is going to unify uh, ISKCON for <coughs> you know thousands of years. Actually, this is, this is, this is the idea. Uh, this is what's going to actually make Prabhat available uh, still for next gener many many generations to come when there are no more any devotees who ever met Sri Prabhat. We're still living in an age where many. You know, have direct meetings with Sri Prabhupada. That will not be the case in the 30, 40, 50 years from now. So how will how will ne next generations have ac access to Sri Prabhupada? So uh, that's also all, all, all being discussed here in, in this book and actually show that the system Prabhupada set up with himself as a founder child and, and actually makes him available as the Shiksha Guru for all generations to come. It's a very, very interesting book. And it can be read online, and we also have it as a book. We got it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, so there's something there, and then it's practical. Every Eastern Project website should have a link to this website. So our website still was there. Devotee Healthcare Guidelines. <coughs> so, yes, just something about that we have to take care of devotees' lives. It's, this is about, particularly about temple devotees who is, you know, somewhat surrender completely, you know, everything into the hands of the temple and Eastern authorities. And uh, it's, it's important that, that their health is being taken proper care of and uh, and also that the devotees who enter them they are aware of you know they, they have to be fully informed about uh, what it means to be in the temple uh, and there should be it says what is it there should be uh, uh, I mean everyone should be properly health insured and 